Hey guys, Jacob Wheeler here on Table Rock Lake Springtime. I want to show you one of my favorite cold water crankbaits, the Shad Wrap. Let's get this box out here. I have a full collection of them right here. Every different color, discontinued ones, everything. But you know, you don't need all of these crankbaits for sure. I have them because you know you never know what you're gonna you're gonna face um, out there on, on the road. But you know, you can get by with a few different colors. And, and first off, I'll show you a, a couple of my favorite little colors. Uh, you know, crawdad. He's a standby, so number six shad wrap. You know, number six is, is really good. Uh, it's in between sizes. I pretty much throw five, six, and seven. Um, and, and that little number six and crawdad is, is, is a standby for sure. And that's gonna be more when the water's a little bit stained up, uh, the backs of the creeks, uh, stuff like that. And I, I, like a, I like a shad wrap when it's cold, but I also like it when you have a little stain on the water. I want those fish to get up there. Uh, when you have stained water when, in cold water, a lot of times it's difficult, but those fish will slide up a little shallower. Clear water, they're gonna sit a little deeper than a shad wrap will get. So for me, it's a stained water technique when those shad are really, you know, they're that time of year, they're real lethargic. Um, and this bait it really looks exactly like, you know, a, sh a dying shad. Number two color would be, hey, let's make it simple. It's shad. So we got crawdad, we got shad. How hard is that? Um, this one, I, I like it with a, it's a painted shad. This one's a really good one. Uh, you know, two to three foot visibility. If they're eating on the shad, that's a, that's a really good good color. Uh, one of my new favorite colors this year in the clear water, it's a foil, is a live river shad. You know, that's a, a you know really good looking, almost like a blue back heron looking deal. Uh, river shad, it, it really catches them. And then last but not least, you know, your chartreuses. You know, I, I have one right here, a little blue chartreuse. Um, you know, if the water's a little stained, and they don't seem to want that that, that crawl out. This is cold steel. You know, it's actually like a steelhead color, but man, they the bass really eat this one. It, it's a killer. It's a killer. Now, now let's talk about rod setup. You know, I, I see a lot of guys ask me, you throw it on a spinner rod. You know, shad wraps are pretty light, so a lot of times you throw it on a spinner rod, you throw it on a bait caster. What do you like? Uh, for me, I'll throw a six foot nine inch spinning outfit TCS Scott Martin rod. It's it's a it's actually a shaky head rod, but it's real parabolic. It has a really good action. Really allows you to, you want a little tip in it. You don't want to be real flimsy, but you want a little tip in your rod where you can really cast that bait out there and crank along those rocks and parallel those shorelines. Keying into, you know, hitting those rocks is really a key thing with that shad wrap and any crankbait for that matter is, you know, hitting those rocks and keeping in contact with the bottom gets a lot more bites. You know, uh, as far as line size, I would recommend eight pound Suffix Pro Mix. It's, it's actually a monofilament. Um, that's what I like. It casts really well. You want a line that's going to cast really well on a spinning rod. I've tried braids. I've tried fluorocarbons. I will throw a uh, Suffolk's fluorocarbon in six and eight. Um, but that pro mix for me, I feel like if you get a line that casts really well and you get, you know, 10 or 20 more feet out of your cast, you're going to get down just as deep as, as a fluorocarbon will anyway. So uh, that's my setup. That's what I like. So next time you're out in the spring, tie you on a shad wrap, cold water, you catch a lot more bass. Hopefully it helps you out guys. This is your social media. This is the real world here, okay? This is where you really gotta catch the fish.